going to discuss a few important questions based on the thermogravimetric analysis. These questions are equally important for set and net examination, but in 2021 Kerala set examination, few questions are taken from this set of questions. So, these questions are very important those who are preparing for Kerala set examination. Here, the first question is thermal analysis is defined as. As we all know that thermal analysis is defined as the measurement of physical and chemical properties of material as a function of temperature. According to this, option C is the correct answer. However, the term thermal analysis is used, used to cover certain specific properties. They are enthalpy, this also you should uh, learn, enthalpy. Second is heat of, sorry, heat capacity, heat capacity and the third one that is mass and coefficient thermal expansion. Thermal expansion. Second question, which of the following method can be used for the measurement of change in weight of oxy salt? Here, the measurement of change in uh, weight of oxy salt and hydrates can be achieved by thermal analysis. Therefore, D is the proper answer. As they decompose on heating in which we measure the physical and chemical properties of material. Third question, what are the two main uh, techniques for thermal analysis? Two main Thermal analysis techniques are thermogrammetric analysis is uh, known as TGA which measure the change in the weight with temperature which measure the change in the weight with temperature. with temperature and differential thermal analysis is known as DTA which detect the change in heat content change in the heat content therefore here option C is the correct answer. T, G, A and D, T, A. Differential thermal analysis is known as D, T, A. Thermogravimetric analysis is known as T, G, A. Next question. Dilatometry is also known as Therefore, here four options are given over here. You have to find out the answer. Therefore, here option D is the correct answer. Thermomechanical analysis. Here, fourth thermal analysis technique is dilatometry, in which the change in the linear dimension of a sample as a function of temperature is recorded recently it has acquired a new name that is known as thermomechanical analysis therefore d option is proper next question which of the following statement given below is false we have to choose the false statement here one second 
here with modern automatic thermal analysis equipment it is possible to do tga dta and dsc are measured using same instrument therefore here option a is correct then second point tga and dta are carried out simultaneously it is also correct then uh, fourth one tma that is known as the thermo mechanical analysis is known as dilatometry therefore option d also correct therefore here the c is the wrong statement tga dta and dsc are measured using different instrument therefore this is the false statement therefore uh, asked the, asked the false statement right therefore here option c is the correct one next one in thermogrammetric analysis the result obtained appear as as you all know that thermogrammetric is a technique for measuring the change in weight of substance as a function of temperature or time therefore the result usually appear as a continuous chart record therefore here option a is the correct answer next question what is the range of the rate in degree celsius per minute required during the heating process in tga here in a process of tga thermogrammetric technique the sample usually a few milligrams in weight is heated at constant rate typically in the range of 1 to 20 degree celsius per minute therefore here according to this option a is the correct answer next question under condition of dash heating decomposition usually takes place in thermogrammetry here four options are given over here we have to find out the correct one in a thermogrammetric analysis decomposition usually takes place under heating condition over a range of temperature initial temperature to the final temperature and the second constant weight is observed above the final temperature which correspond to the weight of the residue therefore here according to this uh, we can say option d is the correct answer the question number nine the ti and tf uh, ti means initial temperature and the final temperature depends on which of the following factor here the initial temperature and the final temperature depends on the variables such as heating heating rate the nature of solid the nature of solid example its particle size and the temperature should be above the sample therefore here we can say four options are given over here cooling rate that is wrong mechanical property of the material is also wrong thermal expansion coefficient also wrong therefore here atmosphere above the sample initial and final temperature depends on the variable such as heating rate the nature of the solid and the temperature above the sample therefore here option d is the correct answer last question what is the temperature required for the decomposition of calcium carbonate in degree celsius here decomposition in thermogrammetric analysis of calcium carbonate is completed in vacuum at 500 degree 500 degree celsius therefore option b is the correct answer but in co2 at one atmospheric pressure decomposition does not even commence until above 900 degree celsius